Hey, here we are again guys. Uh, welcome back to another little episode of Kill the Drummer with me, Gary. First time popping onto the channel, you like what you see, don't forget to hit the subscribe button guys and I'll keep you up to date as we add new stuff uh, to the channel. And for those of you that have already subscribed, thank you very much um, for your continued support. And everyone, don't forget to hit the thumbs up on the video to help us grow the channel a little bit more. Back in the dining room again guys and the, the little uh, sample that I picked up tonight is one from Highland Park. Um, get that one in glass just as we have a wee chat. Um, for those of you um, just after that wee bit of information about Highland Park, um, I've covered a couple of their um, other expressions before. If you look behind me you can actually see some Highland Park bottles there, so it's nothing new to me, uh, the distillery in itself. Um, so if you want to have a look at, I think, the Valfather and Highland Park 12 videos that are on here, you'll get a little bit more information about the distillery itself. But just as a quick heads up, if anyone doesn't know, it's up on the island of Orkney, way up in the, off the north coast of uh, Scotland. Two distilleries on the island, Scapa and Orkney. Um, Highland Park, um, a lot of the whiskies they put out are um, peated um, whiskies in it. They're, um, the, the barley they use is dried using a, a peat smoked process. This kind of infuses the um, the barley. The, the um, peat, which is um, in effect um, it's a fossil fuel, it's made from decomposed um, trees and plants, etc. Up on uh, Orkney, there tends not to be as many trees up there, so a lot of the peat comes from decomposing heathers and mosses. So it's a slightly lighter peat um, sort of influence as you would get from other um, peat whiskies, such as over in Isla, where the peat is a little bit heavier. Um, so the whisky I've picked out tonight to have a wee sip of is actually called the Leaf Ericsson um, release. You know, Leif Erikson release was a limited edition um, whiskey coming out of Highland Park. He, what's this, 2000, this is 2021, so it was about 10 years ago it came out, 2010, 2011 it came out as a, a travel retail exclusive, so you could get it in the airports, etc. Um, it was, it's a, um, a non-coloured um, non whisky, um, released at the sort of pretty standard 40% ABV coming out of there. Um, so when you first look at it, there's nothing overly um, standing out about it. You know, it just kind of looks like your, your, your bog standard non-age statement, 40% whiskey. But what we're going to have a look at here is something that's a limited, uh, release a limited edition. So I'm hoping that there should be something uh, a little bit more about it. So let's give it a little nose and see what comes across. First off, I actually get something quite floral. Flowers. Um, <laughs> for a, a real Highland Park, I tend to play them as Viking theme and uh, I'm straight off, I'm getting pansies, which uh, doesn't really play to the, um, uh, the, the Viking theme, but it's a really nice, pleasant floral smell. Yeah, it's quite sweet and flowery, it's nice. In the background is a bit of spice. Vanilla. Quite citrusy, almost like um, chocolate orange sort of uh, sweet candy bar. Nice, I like it. It's a really pleasant smell. And again, th there's no major nose burn or anything like that. Forty percent ABV. You're not going to expect it, but it's a really pleasant nose. Got a fantastic orange straight away as you take that sip. There's an orangey citrusy, <clears throat> really quite bursty with uh, that orange citrus fruit sort of thing almost there. Uh, Nectarine satsuma type um, small juicy orange fruits. Mm. 
Again, the floral comes over on the taste. Maybe more of a heathery floral. Um, but it's a nice. Now, as I said, the um, heather part tends to be, you know, that peated, that soft peated. And there is, there's a hint of smoke in the background to this. Um, nothing heavy, it's just there. There's an influence more, I'd say more on the after taste, more on the heading towards the finish. Spices come in there. Maybe a bit of cinnamon almost, I think. Again, the smoke is in the finish. It's kind of more like a wood smoke, a campfire smoke. Not really that peaty influence you would get on a lot of peaty whiskies. Mm. But no, there's a, there, there's a nice um, smoky background to it. But really, for me, it is thoroughly fruity. And I like it. Um, it's not a bad dram, guys. Um, as I said, I was expecting something a little bit more. I thought it was a 40% um, whiskey. Being a limited edition, I was expecting something. And I think I've got it there. It's, that's a really nice um, dram. Refreshing, without being heavy, without hitting hard. Um, yeah, Helen Park, I like that one. Right, 10 year old now. You're not going to find it out here very much without scrounging around maybe the secondary market. Maybe I'll look on uh, Helen Park's own website, it might be on there. But uh, yeah, Highland Park Leaf Ericsson Travel Exclusive Limited Edition, Limited Release. Orange Whiskey. Lovely. Slander.